Hi, this is Randy. Um, I wanted to talk about the devaluation phase and some of the things that occurred. There's a lot of random notes that I've made and um, I'm just going to spew them out and see how this goes. Um, television shows and how to watch TV together was uh, very tenuous and very scary situation. Not like a normal person where you, um, you know, compromise on what shows. Once in a while you watch something the other person wants to watch. Many times you like the same things. Well, um, I got criticized for my preferences. Criticized and put down for the kind of TV shows I liked, no matter what they were. Sometimes I would get criticized for liking a TV show that the narcissist used to like, but now no longer likes anymore. I had to be part of repetitive television watching. So watching the same shows every day at the same time, part of the narcissist's routine, an unwillingness to look at a new television show to try it out. Uh, negative political t shows. MSNBC 24-7 from dawn until night. People bitching about the other republic, uh, the other party. Once in a while, it's fine. Even a couple shows back to back, fine. Yeah, I like Rachel Maddow. Um, yeah, you know, I I identified with the um, Democrats, but um, no, not twenty four seven. And how about criminal shows? Preoccupation with watching shows about criminals, shows about murder, uh, those prison lockdown shows over and over, different ones, different channels, very fascinating to the narcissist. You know, sometimes I just wanted to watch a romantic comedy. So I got called names. Those shows were stupid. I'm stupid and I need to go into another room if I want to watch something stupid like a romantic comedy. Cooking. Cooking together. Oh, you would think that that could be fun. Cooking together with your mate? No, there was competition. One-upmanship. Anything that I cooked was severely criticized in terms of what what ingredients are you using? How old was that garlic? How old are those spices? Tell me exactly what is in what you what you're making. Tell me what you're making. I don't want it to be a surprise. Going and looking into the pot while it's cooking to see what it is. I don't know. Maybe he thought I was poisoning him. Um, I should have, but I didn't. Um, the expectations of the amounts of food that need to be cooked. I'm selfish. I'm cheap. I don't cook enough, big, big enough amounts. But yet, if I did cook, overcook, uh, for, you know, more than two people or whoever was eating that night, then, oh, no, he's too good for leftovers. So um, make a lot of food, buy it. You don't usually cook enough. And then when you have leftovers, um, just let them sit there in the fridge. Um, why are you putting that in that soup? Why did you put this in the soup? Why are you using that knife? Would you like me to help you? Oh my god, it got so annoying. Then when he cooked, of course, 
everything was fabulous. It was the most fabulous tasting thing that he has ever tasted and he wanted to continue making it night after night, the same meal. Chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice. I mean, his meals were so fantastic, you could not get that at a restaurant, but you did need to eat it night after night after night, and each batch was just better than the last, according to the narcissist. Cleaning and neatness around the environment? Uh, no, that's that doesn't matter. Um, who cares about neatness or clean cleaning? Um, if that was if I wanted to clean, I was welcome to clean as long as it didn't take time away from him. But he's not cleaning, and he's not picking it up after himself because he doesn't care what the environment's like. He doesn't care if he opens a cupboard and gets out a cup. He leaves the door, the cupboard door open for me to come behind him. I, you know, Linus on Charlie Brown, I mean, I'm not kidding. I had to walk behind him and pick up things that were misplaced, mislaid, put in the wrong room, opened up and not shut. How hard is it to close a drawer after you've gotten something out of it. Well, for the narcissist, it was extremely hard to do. And it was also my home and he didn't have an investment in it. So when he moved in, he didn't respect my environment at all. I mean, shit it up just like he shits up any of the other rental homes that he's had because, hey, he doesn't need to keep that thing up. He, it's not his investment. Unimportant carelessness. Just a complete pig. And chores. How about household chores? Well, when there's a man and a woman, you know, sometimes they like to do traditional roles and take care of the chores around the home. And my narcissist is a carpenter, so he knows how to do all sorts of repairs. He's very good at fixing things, mainly at jimmying them and rigging things up. He's really good at rigging. Like when he lays tile on the floor of a customer or of my home, he doesn't lay the tile underneath where the appliances are. He just, just lays it just so that the bare floor underneath the tile is not showing because that's a waste. I mean, after all, you can't see it, so nobody knows, except when they move their appliances and want to buy new ones, then they have to get a new floor. Oh, ha ha. Too bad for them. They'll never know. He did the same thing to my kitchen when he did when uh, when he was doing it. No re no reason to lay tile across the entire floor skip certain parts. It's okay. It's no big deal. Cut corners. Procrastinate. Don't finish jobs. Do the job all the way till it's almost done and leave a little bit. Leave a little bit so the customer doesn't really notice. And then they're going to get fucked later on when they see you you left some part and it's like they don't even have the tools, they don't have the things to fix it and they don't have the, the um, knowledge to do it. Oh well, stick a knife in that person for no reason. Um, oh my gosh, I have so many more to go and I'm coming toward the end of this video so I guess I have several more videos coming. Um, let's see, shoveling snow? No, that's beneath the narcissist. I mean, it's not, the, the snow's not that high. Um, just drive over it and let it pack down into the ground. Um, throw a little salt on there and maybe it'll melt it. Um, because he's too good to do any kind of um, male traditional household chores when he's not getting paid for it, even if he lives there. Because his surroundings really don't matter to him. In fact, he likes messes and he likes 
nasty surroundings is what he claimed. All right, I'm at the end of this video. I'm going to continue on. Thanks for watching.